My spirit is ready. I feel the ruach so heavy. I eat the word like an Eddie. My tongue is a sword. I will make me a Jamaican. I slice with demons like machetes. I'm yelling repent. I'm What's up, you guys? I am Keila Scott. Welcome back to my channel where I help uplift, encourage, and inspire others on how to be made in his image. You guys, today is a bittersweet day. It is great because the three men have been charged for Ahmad Aubrey's murder, okay? So justice has been served. At the same time, it just sucks because none of this is gonna bring Ahmad Aubrey back and his family will still have to deal with the fact that he is no longer there and that is the worst part of it all. If this shows us anything, it should be that we should band together because look at what we can accomplish when we have everybody together, regardless of our race, regardless of our backgrounds. We can all come together for a greater purpose and for a greater good. God worked this whole thing out. He allowed justice to be served for Ahmad Ivory and his family. My heart goes out to the mother, especially their entire family. She made a promise to her son as she laid him to rest in the ground, as she was burying him, she told him that she would get justice for him. None of us as mothers or fathers should ever have to deal with the loss of our kids before their time, especially in a tragic way like this. Filmed Arbery being shot and killed, William Roddy Bryant admits he tried to block Arbery several times to keep him from getting away. News for Jack's reporter Kelly Wiley walks us through the video. Should we been chasing me? I don't know. Newly released body camera videos show interviews with the three suspects at the center of Ahmad Arbery's death. In the newly released clips, you hear William Roddy Bryan tell investigators he tried to block Arbery, fearing he would get away. They got down to the end down there somewhere. I must have passed him because I pulled out of my driveway. I was going to try to block him. But he was going all around it, and I made a few moves at him, you know, um, and he... He didn't stop. Brian's attorney, Kevin Goff, first said back in May, Brian did not participate in the shooting. Roddy did not participate in the horrific killing of this young man. 911 CAD reports show former district attorney investigator Greg McMichael and his son Travis chased Arbery through the Satilla Shores neighborhood for four minutes after seeing him run out of a nearby construction site. The two claim they recognized Arbery from previous surveillance videos showing inside the open construction site. My son got shot again. Okay. I said, come on, let's go. So Travis runs and gets his shotgun. Because the other night, the, the guy stuck his hand in his pants. And so I grabbed my Group 7 Magnum. It's an old Glen County PD issue, by the way, when I was cop. So we take off. I jump in. I, my grandson's car seat is in the in the front. Uh -huh. So we can't move it. don't have time to move it. So I kind of sit on top of it. We see him come around the corner. He's going down here. We pull up beside him. Hey, stop, stop. We want to talk to you. And he just keeps on running. And then Roddy pulls out at some point. I don't remember exactly. Anyway, we're going past this house. The guy turns around and he starts running back this way. Roddy pulls out in his truck and kind of blocks him. So I said, Travis, go back that way. He said, no, I'm going to go hit him off. So sure enough, he comes around. We come back down here and he's right here. And he starts he starts running past us. So Travis backs up and says, hey, stop, stop. We want to talk to you. Or something to that effect. I don't remember the exact words that was all said. I'm in, by this time, I'm in the back of the truck. So the guy, I mean, he's looking dead at us, you know. I mean, he's like, me to you. And he turns and he runs. Travis gets out with the shotgun and runs up there. And, you know, he, I said, Travis, don't, don't shoot. Don't do anything. The guy turns and comes at him. And they start wrestling. And Travis shoots him around the chest. So we run out to stop him to talk to him. Mm -hmm. He took off on the front. Stop. He came out of the truck running at us. I told him stop, stop, stop till he hit me. I had nothing to do. They've had him on video going into uh, into that house numerous times. If I could have got a shot at the guy, I shot him myself. And the owner of the construction site, Arbery, was seen going out of the day of the shooting and in the previous days is what the, the attorneys for the McMichaels are saying. They said he, did, the owner of that facility said he did not steal anything from the construction site. Investigators found no weapon on Ahmad Arbery. And in the last week, the defense for the McMichaels filed a petition for certificate review. Basically, they want to appeal the judge's decision to deny bond for the McMichaels. We, the jury, find the defendant, Greg McMichael, not guilty. Count two, felony murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, Greg McMichael, 
guilty. Count three, felony murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, Greg McMichael, guilty. Count four, felony murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, Greg McMichael, guilty. Count five, felony murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, Greg McMichael, guilty. Count six, aggravated assault. We, the jury, find the defendant, Greg McMichael, guilty. Count seven, aggravated assault. We, the jury, find the defendant, Greg McMichael, guilty. Count eight, false imprisonment. We, the jury, find the defendant, Greg McMichael, guilty. Count nine, criminal attempt to commit a felony. We, the jury, find the defendant, Greg McMichael, guilty. This 24th day of November, 2021, signed by the fourth person. Count two, felony murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, William R. Bryan, not guilty. Count three, felony murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, William R. Bryan, guilty. Count four, felony murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, William R. Bryan, guilty. Count five, felony murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, William R. Bryan, guilty. Count six, aggravated assault. We, the jury, find the defendant, William R. Bryan, not guilty. Count seven, aggravated assault. We, the jury, find the defendant, William R. Bryan, guilty. Count eight, false imprisonment. We, the jury, find the defendant, William R. Bryan, guilty. Count nine, criminal attempt to commit a felony. We, the jury, find the defendant, William R. Bryan, guilty. Signed this 24th day of November by the four person. Michael, Mr. McMichael, please stand. Verdict is as follows. In the Superior Court of Glenn County, State of Georgia, the State of Georgia versus Travis McMichael, case number CR000433. Jury verdict form. Count one, malice murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. Oh. I'm gonna ask that whoever just made an outburst be removed from the court, please. As this court has indicated, I ask that there be no outbursts in the court, and I expect as much from the gallery. Please respect the court's um, desire for this as we move forward. If you feel like you need to make a comment or otherwise demonstrate with respect to the verdict, I do ask that you step out of the courtroom now. Count two, felony murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. Count three, felony murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. Count four, felony murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. Count five, felony murder. We, the jury, find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. Count six, aggravated assault. We, the jury, find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. Count seven, aggravated assault. We, the jury, find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. Count eight, false imprisonment. We, the jury, find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. Count nine, criminal attempt to commit a felony. We, the jury, find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. Dated this 24th day of November, 2021, signed by the four person. Word go forth all over the world yes. that a jury of 11 whites yes. and Come one on. black Come on. in the deep south Come on. Come on. stood up in the courtroom Come and on. said that black lives do matter. Come on. Yes. Let it be clear yes. that almost 10 years after Trayvon, yes. God used Wanda yes. and Marcus's yes. son to prove that if we kept marching and kept fighting, we would make you hear us. We got a lot of more, lot more battles to fight, but this was an important battle today. This was proven that our children know their value. And that's why those people that march, I'm talking about the people here, that was here when nobody else was here. They stood up. Come on. I just want to say thank you guys. Thank you. Thank each and every one of you. 
who fought this fight with us. It's been a long fight. It's been a hard fight, but God is good. Yes, he is. Early in, I never saw, I, to tell you the truth, I never saw this day back in 2020. Mm -hmm. I never thought this day would come, but God is good. Thank you for those who marched, those who, who prayed, most of all, the, the ones who prayed. Yes, Lord. Yes. Thank you, God. Yes, Lord. Thank you. And now, now, Quez, which, I, which you know him as Ahmad, I know him as Quez. Yes. He will now rest in peace. Yes. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you guys have seen several footages that I showed you guys. And at the end of the day, different neighbors said that they were seeing Ahmad Ivory going in and out of this newly renovated house that was under construction and they kept seeing him which is why the three men they decided to take matters into their own hands and my whole thing is why even if that was him even if it wasn't nothing was destroyed nothing was taken nothing was done to the home no damage was found he had no weapons what gives you the right to take away somebody's life nobody deserves to die in such a senseless way what gives you the right to try to take matters into your own hands. And that is man's wickedness right there that I just showed you guys. Please keep their family in your prayers, you guys. This is gonna be a long way forward, but we're making strides in the right direction. And we can use this as an example to see in the future, black lives do matter. And yes, we know all lives matter, but it's the point that America doesn't seem to understand that our skin matters too. We acknowledge other people's races, we acknowledge other people's backgrounds, but do you? I love you guys, and I hope you guys have an amazing Thanksgiving, and let's be thankful that justice was served today. I love you guys. Spice two demons like machetes. I'm yelling repent. I thought I told you already. Devil be moving so petty to me. All them demons look.